There are lots of sanders in my weight shop, but the one I use the most is the random orbital sander. Here are the top five mistakes people make when they're using a random orbital sander. Let's all make today a great day. Broadcast from the Live With Wood, woodworking store in Chesterfield, Derbyshire. This is Mixed Woodwork Wonders. My name's Mick and I started this channel, Fix Woodwake Wonders, to help people with woodworking and DIY tips. Whether you're a newbie just wanting to have a go at DIY or whether you're an experienced woodworker looking to expand their skills. Edge sanding. When you're sanding the edge of your weight piece with an orbital sander, it's quite easy to take more off in one place than another. This causes you to have a uh, wobbly bottom on your weight piece like this. An easy way to eliminate this is just get your uh, pencil and just mark down the edge of your weight piece, sand the pencil off and you should have a nice even bottom. Always check it on a cast bed. Edge rounding. Some people use orbital sanders just to take the edge off the weight piece just to create a rounded corner. It's all right if you want a rustic or an even finish, but it's not too good for a uniform finish. Sanding plywood. Sometimes when you're working in the weight shop, you'll need to work with plywood. Now when you're sanding plywood with an electric sander, you've got to be very careful because the veneers on plywood are very thin. And if you're not careful, you can soon go through the veneer and cause yourself a lot of problems, including ruining your weight piece. A good way to avoid this is just get yourself a scrap piece of wood and wrap around a sanding net or even some sandpaper and just sand it by hand. It's a lot more accurate and you're a lot less likely to do any damage. Corner sanding. If you decide to sand the corner of a piece of wood, be careful or you'll end up with a lump Whoa! on the weight piece yes on the weight piece because the pad's soft you can end up with an uneven lump in the middle of your corner sand evenly finally when you're using an orbital sander always try and sand the hole of your weight piece because if you don't when you come to apply your finish you will notice where you've sanded and where you haven't sanded i've deliberately sanded this piece of wood in one place but not the other and as i apply the wax you'll see that when i get my buffer and buff the piece there's a noticeable color difference in where it has been sanded and where it hasn't been sanded so i hope this has helped you if you'd like to see more please do hit the subscribe and follow button and if you need any videos doing then please post in the comments